Hey guys, Chris here. In today's video, I'm going to talk about a topic I've been wanting to talk about for the longest of time, and that is charging speeds of EVs. And as you can see behind me, we have my Audi e-tron 55 hooked up to this BKK charger. And as you can see around me, guys, it is snowy weather here, meaning it, it, is, it is quite cold. But I've been on the road for about two and a half hours, meaning that the battery in my e-tron is up to temperature. This is actually my second charging session of the day. So I am getting, you know, the, the maximum speed of what this car can get, almost, almost. So the maximum charging speed of this car is 150 kilowatts. And let's take a trip over here to check out how much state to charge, or not how much state to charge, what my charging speed is. So let's see if we can get the information here on this screen. Um, menu. Um, there, this one. So we are currently charging now at 144 kilowatts. Um, you can see the consumption or the rather the, uh, the juice delivered to the car. And then we have 46% state to charge. And then you also have your uh, time to, to, to finish. So we're going to take a step inside because, well, it is snowy outside. So the e-tron is quite a unique car when it comes to charging and EVs. And that's why I want to, you know, touch upon this subject in today's video, because in my opinion, the charging speeds that the manufacturers, you know, inform about that, you know, the, what they market, uh, what they state is very, very misleading. And I'm gonna tell you guys why, because we're gonna take a look again at the charging here. You would rather look at the charging speed than my face. But as you can see here, guys, we are getting 144 kilowatts. That's what the charger was saying. And then we are at 49, 50% state to charge. Um, this speed at this state to charge is very, very unusual for EVs and let me elaborate. So I'm going to put up on the screen the charging curve of the e-tron and as you can see it has maximum charging speed from around 0% state to charge and all the way up to about 79 or 80% state of charge. So you're getting that maximum speed over the yeah, yeah the whole state to charge of the battery. And then I'm going to put up something like a model a Tesla Model 3, which has a maximum charging speed of 250 kilowatts. And as you can see, it peaks at a low state to charge, and then it starts to drop off at around 20% state to charge. And you know, at 50% state to charge, you are at below, I think, 100 uh, kilowatts. And so the you know the 250 kilowatt state to charging speed of that car is very misleading while the 150 kilowatt uh, state charging speed of this e-tron is very very accurate and you know represents w what speed you actually get and then i'm going to put up to something like a polestar 2 which has a maximum charging speed of 150 again and as you can see the curve just doesn't look anything like the audi e-tron and as you can see here guys now we are at 145 kilowatts of charging speed so in my opinion, you know, charging speeds that the manufacturers, you know, inform what they state, what they market is very, very misleading because, you know, charging speeds aren't charging speeds. All charging speeds aren't alike. And you have other things that are considered here also is, you know, how cold is the battery. And, and again, this Audi e-tron is a prime example of a car that doesn't have preheating. Um, you know, preheating is preferred. Something like a Tesla Model 3 would preheat the battery and there are other cars, you know, let you heat the battery before you get to a charger. So you get that maximum charging speed. This doesn't have it. Um, I know a lot of people have been talking about it having it, me including, but there isn't really no documentation of, of uh, you know, that's reliable that shows that this car actually preheats the battery. And when I connected to the charger, you know, this morning, I got about 80 kilowatts of charging speed. But at after 10 minutes, I was already at over 100 kilowatts. And at 20 minutes charging, I was at the maximum speed of just below 150. But again, the cold temperature outside doesn't let me get that maximum temperature 
of uh, 150 kilowatts that this would get, you know, if it was 15 degrees or 20 degrees Celsius outside. So again, you know, you have to consider is the battery actually up to temperature or is it, you know, ice cold? Is it below 20 degrees? You know, it should be something like 40 or 50 degrees Celsius to get that maximum charging speed. There are a few tricks you can do. You can do something called yo-yo driving where, you know, just accelerate, you brake, you accelerate, you brake, you know, uh, like five or 10 times before you charge that will, you know, load the battery, meaning that uh, it will, you know, uh, heat the battery because you're, you're loading the battery, you're, you're uh, taking juice out of it. And then all the, you know, internal resistance, um, the, the, the more energy you're trying to get out as quickly as possible will actually generate heat in the battery. Uh, so that will most definitely help. That's what you can do with most EVs if you want to get that optimal charging speed. But yeah, this is a huge problem because you know all manufacturers should have a button on the dashboard where you just press preheat, this car included, but it doesn't have it. So there are a few problems with you know charging and charging speed, which is you know this video specific is about you know. Uh, the problems with charging speed in EVs, EVs, because in my opinion, it's very, very misleading that, you know, a Polestar 2, uh, when you read a review, you know, in most motor, motor journalist publications out there will say 150 kilowatts, and then you read the Audi e-tron, and they will also say 150 kilowatts. You know, the, the good magazines, the good reviewers out there will actually talk about charge curve, um, how flat it is, or if it's not flat, um, but yeah, most don't. So you as a consumer, when you're reading those tests, will think, okay, 150 kilowatt charging speed, the Polestar 2 and the Audi e-tron are, you know, similar. Uh, not at all. In reality, it's it's very, very, very big difference. And when I did my, uh, with the Audi e-tron S, when I drove the Audi e-tron S from Oslo over Haukeli to Stavanger here a few weeks ago, I stopped at Hedelsmo, the Ionity charger there, and I got, you know, the maximum charging speed. And there was a Polestar 2 charging because the Polestar 2 doesn't have, you know, a readout here that shows you uh, the, the speed in, ki in kilowatts. It only has that kilometers per hour readout. Um, so you can actually, you have to have a charger like this, uh, you know, where, where, where you actually have a readout. All chargers don't have this, um, but that charger had it. That was an Ionity charger. And I, you know, just took a sneak peek at that charger and at about 50% state of charge, that car was charging with, I think it was like 45 kilowatts, which is one third the speed of this. And if you also saw, saw my Polestar 2 uh, test videos, the, the range tests I did uh, to Gothenburg, I, I never even got close to that 150 kilowatt charging speed. Uh, Bjorn hasn't got close to that 150 charging speed and people who have driven the, you know, the XC40 P8 recharge, which is, you know, basically a Polestar 2, it's the same drivetrain, the same battery pack, haven't been reaching that 150 kilowatt charging speed. And I was like at average getting 80 kilowatts as maximum speed, maybe 90. So yeah, I think there has to be a different type of, you know, way to measure charging speed. And I have I actually talked to Bjorn about this. Uh, it's something I want to do in my own videos and maybe I'm going to implement it uh, in 2021. Uh, and here, if you're watching this video, happy new year. It is 2021, but from this year, I want to try to implement uh, something I call average charging speed because I think that represents much more accurately the actual speed you get. So something like, uh, actually, you know, we have a standard from like 10 to 80%, maybe 10 to 75% state to charge, which, you know, I, I test these cars, we make a charge curve, and then uh, I give you guys the average speed because I'm using the Polestar 2 as, I, I'm a huge Volvo fan and, and a Polestar, uh, Polestar fan. You know, my channel started on Volvos. I've had several Volvos and I've said, when the XC90 comes as a, 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 a fully electric vehicle in the next generation, I will be ordering one. I'll be the first person in line to order one but they have to do it better. They have to figure this thing with charging speed out and battery temperature preheat because I'm using them as a prime example because uh, the Polestar 2, which has a stated charging speed of 150 kilowatts, has the biggest discrepancy from an Audi e-tron's 150 kilowatts. The, the difference is huge. They're not even comparable, but you know, the manufacturers are giving the same, <laughs> 
are giving the same charging speeds. So I'm using that as an example because it really highlights, you know, the difference and the problems with maximum charging speed. Average charging speed would, you know, be very different. This would have something like, well, 150 kilowatts from 10 to 80% and the Polestar 2 would maybe have like 70, which would accurately, you know, represent the actual charging speed. So this video has been, been a bit of a rant, but I've want, been wanting to talk about this for a long time. And yeah, so this is the video you guys are getting. So a bit of a, you know, a, a freestyle video of me ranting, just holding the camera in vlog style. So guys, what do you think? Do you think, do you agree with me or do you disagree with me, with, with me about, you know, the stated charging speeds? And is it at all important for you guys? For me, it's important because I travel a lot with these cars. Um, you know, out of the city, uh, to the mountains, to other cities for work and just traveling in general. So for me, you know, getting that charging speed is very, very important. But let me know what you think and happy new year, year years, guys. And if you enjoyed this video, please drop me a thumbs up down below. And for more car content, as always, guys, please subscribe. See you guys later and goodbye.